What up guys, it's Boss Jackal, and I'm going to be comparing both of the Hornets in this video, just to see which one is better. So, we're going to be comparing the 2020 Hornet, or 2019 Hornet, whenever, whenever that Hornet came around, I, I'm pretty sure it was 2020 when it got released. And I'm also going to be comparing the 2023 Hornet. So, they both come with too many figures. And, the, and this one is $30 and this one is like $20 or $25, I can't remember. But um, yeah, this one is more cheaper. But um, yeah, they both come with too many figures. One of them comes... So... And as a comparison, let's just take a look at the minifigures first. So, comes with this ODST, which is pretty neat, including with the backpack. Um, I did wish I had some chest print color, at least, like silver or something, or like this bright gray. I think that'll look better. I do like the red shoulder armor on there it does kind of remind me of Halo 3 not Halo 3 ODST just the original oh yeah and there's his weapon now I think this guy was Captain something I I don't know but yeah here's this marine I still don't know who this guy is, but he might be in Halo 3 or in Halo 3 or DST. He could be just a normal Marine. I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure. But it is pretty cool how we get this head piece. That's pretty neat. Or how we get one of the Marines looking different. Now for the prints on this guy, he's got no prints on here. Nothing in the bag, it's just a plain chest piece and plain shoulder armors. The legs are probably the only part that have the most detail. Oh yeah, and looks like the ODST. Wait. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, it looks like the ODST and Marine have the exact same legs, but nope. They do not. Now, for the $20 Hornet, or $25, I'm just gonna say 20 Now, he has a uh, metallic green, which I miss the metallic green color on the Marines because it makes them look more realistic. Sure, it's, I guess, not as game accurate, but it does make them look realistic. Now, this uh, marine pilot has no leg printing. <clears throat> Alright, so this guy has no leg printing. His body is just normal. Let me get a, a regular marine. I can compare the two. So as you see here, they're both the exact same figure. The only thing that changes is the helmet and the chest plate. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. I hope I don't sound weird in the video. Or sound strange or anything like that. My voice is a little bit... Yeah. Anyways, um... Yeah, I like the blue visor. It really does match it with the um, Hornet. I almost forgot the name. And for the enemy that you get in the set, I couldn't find his pieces. But um, yeah, this is a uh, Grunt with the old style. He's got the got the old style backpack. Not three pieces, or just two pieces. And he's got the old style head with the printed eyes, but not removable gas mask. Now, 
I I did the through a pile of my minifigures and I could not find his body. The only thing that I found is two of his heads, two of his arms, and two of his backpacks. But that's about it. No legs and no arms. I cannot remember what I did with those. I think I customized them. But you guys get the idea how his body looks like. You guys would get the idea how his body probably would look like. Oh yeah, and he comes with this field rod cannon. Now this is pretty neat to get in a set. Um, because I think fuel rod cannons are more harder to get now, so that's pretty neat. And for the for this guy, he just has a black plane uh, magnum. This guy just a silver plane magnum. Not really any print. So. Now for the Hornets, oh yeah, the, before I um, move on, here's this um, dark jungly like stand. It's different than all the others, because if I get this one too bright, the Halo Infinite stand. Here's the other one from the Warthog. It kind of matches a little bit, but it's not really, not really the exact same color. So, yeah, that's the stand that you get in the set. And right, now for the Hornets. Let's take a look at the cheaper one first. Now, this one actually has, um, shootable, what they called again. I forgot what they're called, but you can totally shoot these off of it. And it's also got extra ammo right here, in case if you lose one of them, or if you just don't want to run all the way to the other side of your room, just to get that one piece. And maybe get it later or something. Now it's pretty small, it, it does have the flames. And these can move under, you can move them. And these are not connected to anything, they're just sitting there, giving you the illusion. I like the looks on this. The gun, it can't really move, it's just this thing on the side. That's about it. Um, now, I like what they did here. They put UNSC and turned it like that, put it on some... Parts. Instead of it going straight like this, I went the opposite, which I like it pretty neat. Now, I think this is the, um, this is the ga Gambit, I mean, this is the Hornet from Halo 3, and that's a Hornet from Halo Wars 1. If I'm correct, I'm not, I can't remember if this is from Halo 3 and this is from Halo Wars or they're probably both from Halo 3, but probably a remake of that set. I, I, don't, I don't know. Because I remember in Halo 3 it looked like this. And in Halo Wars it... The window was yellow. And I had like this line over it. But anyways, yeah. For the... For the minifigures, you can... Fit the... Can fit the marine pilot in there. It's quite a tight spot. I like how there's print over there showing the two wings of the um hornet. I keep I keep almost forgetting his name. Its name. Alright, but anyways, this is how it looks all closed up on the side here. No stress. With the minifigure in it close it up and it doesn't really close up all the way as you could see there's some 
stress on this side right here. It's like wanting to push out from the sides, which I'm not really a fan of. I don't really like that. Because if you, if you leave your figure in there for too long, that piece could bend and stay like that. Oh yeah, and this is a pretty delicate piece. Like, if you squeeze the sides too hard, it will probably break off. Or it will either show some damage on the side. But um, yeah, you can put your minifigure there and have him drive the Hornet. But, um, yeah, and for this, minifigures can totally go back here. So, I'm not sure if they're supposed to hold on to it. So, I'm just gonna fix his hand real quick, because it wants to pop out, looks like. Alright. So, I'm gonna attach him onto this. Alright, there you go. So I'm not sure if the minifigure is supposed to go on there, like that. Probably with the weapon on the other hand. Or, if he's supposed to be pegged in there, because that's how it looks like, just by looking at it. I think the minifigure is supposed to go like this. That's about it. He just sits there. It looks a little bit weird. But I guess it kind of works. Yeah, I guess it kind of works. But if the Hornet would turn then... Like, in-game, if the Hornet would turn then... That person would fall out. So, yeah, I think they're supposed to be holding on to there. I don't think they're supposed to be standing. I guess they are supposed to be, like... Well, yeah, I guess they are supposed to be standing. I don't think they're supposed to be sitting down. But that's how it looks like. That's what I assume it's for. Now, this is the, um, the cheapest... One that you're gonna get. So if you want to win it, this is the cheapest that you're gonna get. Well, maybe the Mega Blocks one is cheap. I I don't know, but cheap and realistic, I guess. Now for the other Hornet. Excuse me. Alright, but anyways, yeah. For the other hornet, this thing actually has a feature, as you can see. So if I turn this, both of these sides will turn. I kind of like that feature, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Now, let me tell you why. The reason why I like the feature, because it gives more playability. Or, um... Let me think. Alright. It gives more playability, or like, I don't know, it just gives you an idea of, for stop motion. And though, know, for stop motion, you can easily just turn these and just take a picture from there and go, and go on. But, um, yeah, I, li I like the feature. But I'm not sure. They're, the part that I don't like about it, they kind of wig on their own almost. Like, if you got it in this perfect position and then something happens where this just moves on its own, then I'll probably change. Or if you, like, accidentally, like, bump into it or something, I'll, then I'll change. Like, it'll be like this and it slightly turns. But I do like the feature. Now, 
The gun here is more more detailed than the other. And this piece just fell off. Uh, that's another thing to point out. These parts will fall off pretty easily. If you have it flat on the ground. So you might want to put it on the stand like this. But anyways, yeah. It's got way much more guns than the other one. I'm not sure if I put this one in the wrong spot or if it's supposed to look like that. I might have to look at the instructions again. But anyways, yeah, um, this can turn. And it's way much more detailed than that one, so that's pretty good. Now... <clears throat> I don't know what these red lines mean, but I assume it's just for detail. So that's also pretty neat. Now if I turn both of them on the side, you can already see this one has more detail. So it has more detail than this one. But um, yeah, if you look under here, this piece it's actually connected to this one. Which is pretty good. It's actually attached. And also, no peg. So the minifigure actually holds on to there. He's actually supposed to hold on to there. He doesn't, like, sit down or anything. No, he actually stands and holds on to that. So that's pretty good. And, um, the guns, uh, the machine guns, or whatever you would like to call these, turrets, well, turrets when it, when it, there's something that shoots on its own, so. Or you get on it and you, like, shoot it, and you can't really move it or anything, so I guess I'm just gonna refer to them as machine guns. But anyways, yeah, these machine guns, they don't actually shoot, but they do look way much more better than this. These actually shoot, but they don't look as game accurate, but these do. Wait. Alright, these actually shoot, but these ones don't. <coughs> Excuse me again, I just burp. Alright, but anyways, these actually shoot, and these ones don't. But these are more game accurate. These ones are not. Alright, there we go. And if I look at in the back, um... Yeah, you could already see which one is better. Totally this one. And the Yona C fin in the back is bigger than this one. Now, for the minifigures fitting inside the cockpit, the cockpit, however you like to call it. Also, there's like silver in the bottom. Kind of like that. Oh, yeah, uh, one more thing. So, these parts don't move. But these ones do, which is pretty neat. And I like that. Alright, so I'll open up this part. And I'll put the any figure in there. Like that. Look at that, that's, that's way much more better. It just, as soon as I was about to close that, I saw a shoulder armor and I thought that was about to come off. Or the sides were about to bump into that, but no. It just fits perfectly fine. Now the controls, it just is plain color but it does look pretty good 
Now the inside of it actually has like this black piece representing like um like a cushion or something. Well the other one it nah it doesn't have that. But this does look pretty good. Now thirty I think I paid thirty eight dollars for this. Yeah. So it was it goes around for thirty but Alright, this one goes around for 30, this one goes around for 20. Now, best minifigures, I'm not sure. Brents are common, those marines are... Alright, I guess, but all DSTs like this with the print under there. I'm not sure if you guys know this app, but with the print on there, that's kind of... That's cool, so... Yeah, I would say, like, the fuel rod can, it, it's good, but the, if it had any print on it, that would probably, it would probably get a point from that. But it seems like the, this guy just playing in just two different pieces, and the grunt just has a, just a normal grunt with the fuel rod cannon. And this with a detailed ODST and a marine that actually has a different head, then I give a point to this <coughs> for articulation. That shoots out, but this moves. So, another point. And for the, um, this one takes longer to build. This one takes like a, it's not, it's long, but it's not that long. It's more short. But um, yeah, more detail. This one, so it's got three points. Um, let's see. Cheaper. It's going to be this one. Three points, one point. And I haven't really looked at this. There's, there's the Hornet from under. There's this one from under. Kind of like how this is filled up, so yeah. So they got rid of this idea, but they included a new one. I feel like they could have still included these, but it wouldn't be as detailed. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the stand. The stand that I pulled out. There we go. But anyways, um, yeah, this is the best one. It's like 30... Eight thirty nine dollars. Now it's worth it, I would say. <coughs> like for the minifigures and the Hornet itself, it's worth it. This one twenty dollars. It's also worth it, I would say. Like you get um just a simple. He looked really good looking um Hornet. It's not the best looks, but it is pretty good and simple, I guess. Pretty good also for $20. So, I would say this one is the best. I, I also like the red lines on there. It gives it more detail when you open it. It's exposed, so probably might want to ignore this. Unless if it's part of it, then okay. Oh yeah, and these two are the exact same pieces. Um. Oh yeah. Before I start talking more, um, that's pretty much it for the comparison. Which one I most likely recommend is this one. But if you want to save some money, you go for that one. 
But um, yeah, that's pretty much all. So if you guys want to click off the video, go ahead. But if you want to keep watching, okay. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm about to end the video anyways. Alright, but anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. Peace out.